Hey, welcome. So we're going to be looking at SEO Autopilot. I'm going to review it. So um, before we go and actually look at the tool, um, I just want to say that I was told about this a couple of days ago and I was like, yeah, okay, sure. New SEO software, 100% success rates. I, I literally laughed. And then I went out and I set it up. I was given a, um, um, a access to the tool because it's not available yet. And I went out, set it up, took me two minutes to set up. Um, and then I just clicked start, went to bed, woke up, and I couldn't believe it. I stopped laughing, that's for sure. It was like we're talking at, as the conversation goes here, you can see I posted this in the group. And I just wanted you guys to see this. And what it is here, look, we're talking 97% success rates. And I looked at it again, and it's actually more than that. Because there's a hundred blogs and it posted to 98 out of them, so it's 98 percent success rates or something like that. Even more than that, I think. I think there's more blogs and it only didn't post to two of the blogs. Um, so that was the first run, yeah. As I written there, so it creates them on all the major, the most, all the best sites: Live Journal, Tumblr, um, you know, all of them, all of the best ones: Jigzy, Jimdo, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, you name it, it creates them there. Pretty much. Um, if you can post a blog to it with an article, um, it'll be able to post it there if it's worth posting to um, one of those sites. I mean, they're adding sites regularly, I imagine. But as of now, you'll see the sites that it posts to and I think you'll be pretty impressed. So before we do that, I just want to look at the post here in the group, um, which is the reason for showing this to you. And yes, there's a lot of interest, but there's a couple of people in here comparing it to a lot of different tools. And the most in interesting one is Ranker X, um, because it might be the one that compares to it m with the success rates, closest success rates. We're talking uh, 70 to 80 percent success rates that it gets there. And as you're going to see in a moment, we're getting about um, 98 percent success rates in a little bit less than that. 90 overall, if you probably include all of the other properties um, that it posts to. But they all have very high um, domain authority compared to this other site and um, this other tool. Um, which is also, it's not the easiest of tools to set up. It's a bit cumbersome. It sits on your browser and it's, it's whatever. It's, it's, a, it's a great tool for it's got its purposes. Um, it's got 1,800 properties you can post to. But the problem is a lot of them, as you can see here, are Chinese and Russia. And sorry, China. Sorry, Russia. But you do have a pretty bad rap when it comes to spam. Sorry. It's fact. Um, I mean, not to say that if you're doing your manual outreach, you can't go out and find some great domains to post to in China and Russia. Um, but but not, you know, a, a group of domains that everyone is spamming. Uh, you definitely don't want to be pointing anything to. I, I, don't, I don't know why I would point that to anything. Um, so, um, you know, if you want to be just mass spamming and using them, those same Chinese-Russian domains over and over again, then, you know, that that's going to have, I guess that's going to be great for you. Um, and then it has all the other things that all these other tools have, only, only better. Um, and a couple of tools I've been talking to the other developers and asking them for these features for the tiers. And um, they have never actually implemented it. And I've asked it and these guys have already got it. And, and this is one of the things I'm the happiest about is being able to completely organize all of your anchor texts from all of the different tiers. And that's just freaking awesome. And it's easy to use. It's just so easy to use. So, you know, enough of enough of all of this. Let's let's look at the tool. Let's jump onto the server and take a look. Here it is. Okay, so check that out. Look at the sites we're posting to. Tumblr, WordPress, LiveJournal, BraveNet, Goodreads, Evernote. These are <clears throat> these are the sites you want to be posting to. Um, I'm, in a, I'm in a mastermind and half of these blogs are approved by this group of testers that just crazy at testing the hell out of all of these sites. And let me tell you, half of those domains have been tested and proven to be able to and, and proven to have um, ranking power as you say okay so we got out of the sites that were posted to out of the blogs only two as you can see here weren't posted to all of these other sites we're talking near 100 percent success rates and then we've got all of these other sites as well um, the url shorteners um, which i'm totally fine with you know that's sort of working at about 90 percent success rates as you can see and then we have the bookmarking sites, which are working somewhere in the region of about 80 to 90 percent success rates, as you can see. Probably closer to 80 percent. But these are just the, the, you know, the tier two bookmarks. And, you know, I guess they're there just to really, you know, ping your um, 
you know, your shorteners and get a little bit of extra, like, you know, you know, um, note getting getting them look, like noticed a little bit easier, you know, by by doing that. So that that might that that's going to help with that, you know, with the indexing and the and the pinging of these URL shorteners. And there we're here at tier three already. And this is literally the first and only one that I personally have ran. Um, guys on my team have have run it a number of times, and it's just they're getting very very similar results with very very similar success rates time and time again. And regardless of the type of diagrams that you're picking. So let's just look at how easy it is to actually um, set this up. So, you know, this is what it's like. We create there, click demo, do this demo one, go OK. Right. You can choose whichever diagram you want. Right. They have all these different ones pre-built in that they've been using. Um, you can also edit them and you can also create your own. This is this simple diagram is the one that I used over here. And I actually did just for a total test point it to a money site and it's just a demo site. Um, and what happened there is it just pointed two batches of URL shorteners, which are safe um, to put to a money site and high quality web 2.0s, which are also safe. Um, and, and I just really mostly used um, branded anchor texts and 5% um, keywords. So I don't even think if I got even any keywords in there. So it's, that's totally safe doing that. Um, and then you've got social bookmarks pointing to the web 2.0s and then more URL shorteners pointing to the social bookmarks to ping that, creating a nice little clean, um, you know, tiered-ish structure of links to your site, which is great, which is what you want. And the, the main reason, um, I'm, and the only reason I'm actually promoting this is because it works and it's, and you're not spending, and you don't need to spend much time on it. Look, so all I've done so far is created that, pick the diagram, click next. I put, let's say, my domain in there, google.com, no, that's not my domain, and then I'd have there, Google, <coughs> and then you can activate the generic keywords, pick the percentage that you want them to run at, you know, branded keywords, very, very simple to set up. All, all very simple with the keywords, allowing you to pick, you know, whatever, make it as, as simple as possible, plain URL, 10%, 10% domain is anchor, authority links, add the keyword in there, and uh, we're going to do um, uh, marketing, and bold the keywords, bold italics and keywords, and then we want to add the content in here, um, add a preset there, or create new, so we're just going to use that preset just to demo it, and then post title, because it's got the keywords in there from the preset, it's going to just generate that title for you already. The greatest guide to Google. What does Google mean? Not known factual statements about Google. Okay, you know, it's 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 not the worst. And then you've got the article here. So um, demo, demo, and whatever, and demo, demo. And then we can use the free spinner, spin the article. You can even get an article if you've got your um, APIs hooked in there. Add your images. You want embeds. Go ahead and stick your URLs in there. Decide the number that you want, positioning, random, and then you can even choose the threads and the amount of posts that you want. I just instant posted just to see how these blogs were going to actually react without actually warming them up. And as you can see, 98% success rates without even warming them up. I think that's actually what the problem was with WordPress is that I went, I opened it, and within two minutes I went and I opened and posted this blog with this this you are this post with like five links in it and no wordpress doesn't like that i can confirm that personally that they don't like that so you've got to be warming them up and sending out your first link your first post without links i did not do that i set this up with links and all bombs away just to see what would happen and that's exactly what happened and then you just save your campaign oh what hold on it's not going to save because i don't have the content in there let's go in there and just to make sure i'll just pull this title and add that title in here into the bookmarks and that's there and then we can use this account preset here whatever and we're not going to send that to the indexer and then save okay okay I didn't do the percentages we just need to make sure the percentages are right so I'll just undo that undo that it's got to match out it's got a bit you know hit a hundred percent so let's just hit save no primary keywords, 
All right, I didn't give enough. Okay, you need to obviously fill out the URLs here, guys. So Google, and then it'll save. And I don't want to just, I don't want to save it. It's a demo. I'm just going to delete it anyway. Oh, for tier two. Okay, sorry, where's tier two? Oh, tier two. Right, right, because I've got that clicked. Okay, let me just unclick that and then save. Okay, and then that's how it works. It's all ready to go now. Okay, so you can just um, click start and it will go ahead and start creating and then posting to these sites. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So I'm just going to delete this one here. I just don't want that sitting there. And that's it. That count, that campaign's been deleted. And now this is the uh, campaign that I had run with out warming up these accounts and just setting them out and just setting it up like I just showed you and pressing start down here and it goes ahead and it does all of that for you. Okay, so that's the demo. There are reports. You can white label. Um, if you want to have reports for customers, for clients, you could do all of that stuff. And there's going to be a link in the video that's going to take you to the main site so you can just see for yourself exactly how um, how how else you can use the tool, how the white labels work, how the reports come, what's in store, because there's a lot in store. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot going on in this tool that I haven't even come close to showing. And I just wanted to show you on a very, very basic level how easy it is to get uh, this many blogs all set up and run and tiered. Um, without having to do anything and it's just all set up and a very key point to just remember is that you can set these up and then repost to them and then post blog posts without URLs post blogs with URLs just keep your blogs very very natural and then create a massive massive network very very easily of high authority um, sites that you're going to be able to post to and that's exactly what you want to be doing. All right. So um, I'm going to end the video now, guys. If you've got any questions about it, do comment below. Let me know. And there's going to be a link down below to grab the product for you to go out and also, you know, pick it up if you want. There's also going to be a link to the main site um, that's going to take you to the main site where you can also buy it and find out more about it if you just want to learn a little bit more about it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the group or in the comments below. Talk to you soon.